So as I've been using Roam Research more and more, um, I've simplified my task system in here. And this is probably a little bit different than some of you because uh, the agency I run, we have our own task system there. We use teamwork projects, not unlike Asana or Basecamp or some of those. So a lot of my tasks and projects are in there, but all my personal stuff is in Roam, especially the personal stuff that pops up during the day. Uh, so this is your only task system. You might need to do things a little bit different, but this works well for me and hopefully you'll get some tips out of here. Uh, the big three at the top I made as an attribute, and I'll show you why it's an attribute with the, you know, the two colons after it. I'll show you that in a minute. This is kind of stolen from uh, Michael Hyatt and some of his processes where you set your goals for the year, break it down into big three tasks each week and big three each day. And this just kind of reminds me that, you know, here's the th three things I need to focus on today. So they're in there, but they're, I have them, again, with that uh, attribute so I can filter them out later as needed. But throughout the day, you know, I usually build this a week in advance. I'll, I'll go through every Friday for my weekly preview and kind of build out what the day should look like. And then when it comes up, I'll sort of take notes and add other calls and stuff to it. So perhaps during this meeting, I'll say, you know, they were very happy with their analytics um, you know, or other, other notes from it. That's fine. But when this other one calls, he may say, hey, send me that contract on Monday. So I want to remember to send him the contract Monday. So I could say, send them their contract on and then I use the Rome toolkit so I can do Monday but you can just type in the date if you wanted and then I'll do control enter to make it a to do and now it's going to be to do that will show up as an unlinked reference on Monday so perfect I love doing that during the day just being able to add in little tasks as things happen um, I've missed one piece of this and I'll show you that in a second I missed it on purpose though the problem with Rome with tasks is that tasks can get lost if I just make a simple task like Ooh, and um, you know, send them those examples they asked for. You know, I'll make a quick task for that. They want me to send them those in right after the call, and then I'll get another notes and stuff. I may forget about that one. So that kind of task can very easily get lost in Rome. So I've done two things to help prevent that. Um, both happen during my weekly preview, just kind of when I check on the state of the world, set up the next week, look back at the past week. I do two things that really are pretty quick now to take care of these. Uh, the first is I have a to-do cleanup page I keep in my shortcuts here. Uh, these ta these uh, queries are over in uh, roamresearchtips.com. I have them listed there so you can copy them out, but uh, I have two of them here. The first one is looking for any recurring items mistakenly marked complete. So for recurring tasks, what I do is I give it a hashtag recurring. Um, and so then when it's due and I finish it, instead of checking it off, I just date it for the next week out or the next month out or whatever the case is for that recurring task. So done and recurring should never happen together. If it did, that means I accidentally had a recurring task and by mistake just hustle along, checked it off. So this will look for any recurring tasks that are checked off that are not part of the template I have and are not part of this query. Uh, so that should be blank. And then this other one should also be blank. And so this is where it's kind of caught me where I have a couple things that happen. And what it's looking for is any to-do items that are not yet scheduled. So another big hashtag I use is scheduled, just, to, just for me to note that I did schedule. So in the case of this one, I did schedule it, but I didn't mark it as scheduled. So we'll just go here and edit hashtag scheduled. So I know it's good to go. Um, and then here's this other one that came up. Um, there's a few ways this may surface. This is one of them. And I can say, oh, gosh, that was you know two days ago. And I forgot either I did send in the examples and I can check it off or I forgot to send the examples or I need to schedule it for later. You know, whatever's happening, I can kind of deal with what's happening there. Um, so that one comes up. But then the other thing I do, just in case it doesn't pop up there, and it should, uh, but when I do my weekly preview, I also do a weekly review and just quickly go back to my daily notes and scroll through the last seven days, just kind of making sure there's no other to-dos hanging out that shouldn't be or any other notes I needed, or you know, I usually spend, I don't know, 30 seconds just kind of looking at each day from the past week. I'm not, I'm not spending a lot of time here, you know, three and a half minutes to go to the past week, but looking for to-dos, looking for anything else, you know, dating things, finishing things, you know, getting things tidied up. And those two things pretty much resolve it. Um, you'll notice uh, the big three, of course, again, I have as a attribute, so that way in that to-do cleanup, you know, one of the things not scheduled, looking for to-dos that are not part of a template or the big three, or a 2020 goal, a 2021 goal, or part of this query, or scheduled, or metadata, or in my videos to create. All those, I don't worry about that. But I mean, it seems like a lot there, but that means any other task of any kind um, better have a scheduled hashtag on it if it's open. And again, it's looking for those that are to do. If they're already marked done, I don't care if they're scheduled or not. But if they're a to do, and they're not one of these things, they need to have that scheduled hashtag on them, um, or it'll pop up here. So just looking at this real quick makes it pretty easy. And again, I unchecked that one out there, but. Uh, they both should come up blank like this. They should be nothing to these uh, when I do that review and I can kind of glance through the past week, see what's going on, and it makes it very easy throughout my day to add in tasks and not worry that they may get lost um, in what amounts to maybe extra five minutes of work per week just to kind of double check and make sure nothing got lost. So 
I hope that's helpful for you. And again, those queries are at roamresearchtips.com. If you're going to grab those, um, I'm sure you'll need to adjust them, but hopefully it'll give you a good starting point. You can kind of go from there. Thanks.